Why you acting like I'm not going to be back? Shout outs to 78. Shout outs to Zone. Shout outs to Boxologist. Shout outs to Boxing Talk. Vids 06 for doing the debates on the Pacquiao Mayweather. I'm going to get on there for you guys. I promise. I'm going to get on there. And I will squash anybody. Any given time. <laughs> with the stats that come with Floyd. I don't have to explain myself. So patient. Look for me coming up. I will be the reigning champion. Shout out to um, Vids and um, box Boxing. Boxologist for stepping up for the time being. To defend Floyd. But um, all in all. Um, I will squash anybody and I will hold it down for the whole, you know, for the Floyd Mayweather movement, as they say. So, I'm not like he ain't been moving already, but you know. So, this this prediction, actually, first off, you see the motherfucking movie. Go get the shit. Stop talking shit, man. If you can't afford it, save up your bread and then go get the shit. So, we got... Keith Thurman versus Leonard Bundu. It's an easy fight. E easy fight. Um, to predict. It's an easy fight to predict. A lot of people don't want to show that Bundu is his age. You know, 40, excuse me, 40 plays a part on everybody. I don't care what you're doing. I don't care who you are. The world can see what the fuck going on. I needed to break up on this loud. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> so, um, Bundu, he's a he's an okay fighter. What he does is, let me see who he mimics. Who does he fight like? Hmm. Who does Bundu fight like? Bundu fights like a Bundu fights like a canine bundridge. That's how Bundu fights. He's not in super spectacular. He's not hard to figure out. He just tries to get in close on you and then unloads his shots. Um, I think in this fight, this is an easy easy pick. I shouldn't even be doing a prediction about this fight. But some people, they they hit me up like, yo, how come you ain't doing a prediction on your fights? And um, that's why, I, you know, I got to drop it for you guys. But let me, um, let me put it out there. Keith Thurman is going to demolish Bundu. It's not even going to be fair. You know that whole saying how fighters, they grow old in the ring overnight or they get old overnight. This is going to be a prime example of that, okay? Prime example. You're going to see like um, Shane Mosey when he fought Pacquiao. He got old overnight. Or when he fought, when he fought Floyd. Um, the second half after he got that big hit in and he thought he was going to take Floyd out. He got old right then and there. It was like, all right, that's all I had. You know, that's what I'm going to see from Bundu. Bundu might throw in a little bit of a flurry in the beginning, but I think that's it. And there's nothing else that really he's better than Keith Thurman with, you know. I mean, if you want to be blunt about it, this is an easy fight. This is an easy fight. You know, because I question Keith. Keith, you you supposed to be a real nigga and all that. I question, I, I question this dude sometime, man. Because when the other fighters are in the building, look how he talks about Floyd. My man just, he knows better, man. You better not disrespect the hand that feeds you. <laughs> but, um, you know, man, I, I feel like... <sighs> I feel like sometimes Thurman... He has the opportunity in front of him and lets it go past because he feels later on he can catch up with it later. Opportunities in life close up. That's all there is to it. You're not going to be able to do everything you can. That's why it's so important for these fighters to get these fights while they're young. You can't go back to 23 no more. You can't go back to 26 no more. You can't go back to 28 no more. Once you pass it or you're there, you're there. You know That's all there is to it. And you want to be... You want to be a, a force to be reckoned with by the time you're 30. That's all there is to it. It's funny how Triple G, I didn't even know Triple G was 30, to be honest with you. I ain't, I ain't know that shit. But um, somebody told me that the man is 30. And, um, you know, he ain't no 20-year-old. <clears throat> so I understand a little bit more why he's not as elusive as I planned on Triple G being. 
As far as Keith Thurman is concerned, in his last fight versus Diaz, which stopped early because he hit him with a nice body shot, took him out of there. Hold on, I'm just twisting this up. Nice body shot to get him out of there. Um, we saw, you know what I loved about Keith Thurman? Straight up. We saw a side of Keith that just exploded onto the mainstream. You know, we saw a side of Keith that, remember, I think it was maybe the f fifth round? Well, it was one of them rounds where Keith, he just said to himself, I'm better than this guy. You know, I'm way faster than this guy. I'm going to try something that I don't normally try on people and see if it works. And he did his, like, four-punch combination, and it was fast as shit. It was super fast, man. This is why it's hard to pick Keith, to pick against Keith. Because, believe it or not, the man does have skill, and it's sort of like he has tricks up his sleeve that he's holding on to. Because he doesn't want to display his old arsenal for someone to study him. You know? So, if you if, go check out the interview with Keith Thurman and him breaking down Bundu. And he breaks it down better than I've ever seen anybody break it down. He knows how he punches. He knows what when he's going to stop, when his flurry's coming. Go check out that interview. He knows what the fuck he's talking about. But, um... In this fight, what can Bundu do to be successful? I think to be successful, so you got to give it both ways. Don't just give it all on one side. For Bundu to be successful, he has to land. <laughs> That's huge. He has to land. And he has to... He has to hurry... Thurman. Don't play into Thurman's game. I don't think you can outbox Thurman. I think you might, you, I don't think you can outbrawl him, but if you're going to take a route, that's the only route that I see available. You can outbrawl him, but watch this fight, you guys. Don't, people hyped up the Diaz fight too. Bundu is not in Thurman's category. Bundu is, he's not elite. Thurman from what I have seen so far and the speed that he actually possesses, Thurman can be considered elite. He can be. You know, that speed that he pulled out against Diaz, go check out that fight. He had him on the ropes and he started teeing off. And there was a speed that was just like, this motherfucker is, is fast, you know? Go check out that shit. Bundu needs to. To just clutter. He needs to clutter motherfucking Thurman. Thurman needs to get his jab going. You know, I always start off with my favorite punch in the game, which is the jab. Get his jab going. And then um, he can fill in with his combos later on, you know. Or that, that typical, you know, double jab and then, and then your straight right hand. So, um, he likes to do that, that a lot. The only thing I question about Keith Thurman still, and why I can't put him in the category of a Mayweather yet. Like, he's elite, yes, but I haven't seen Keith actually take a shot, you know. Keith has got hit. But he's returned into retreat mode like crazy. Who did he fight? Um, who the fuck did Keith Thurman fight? Ah, shit. I just had his name in my head. He's um, He fought some Duke. Damn, I can't remember the Duke's name. He fought Duke, and um, it was on the undercard of the Broner fight. And he ended up... What happened? He ended up... Thurman was doing his thing, but he got caught. And then all of a sudden he turned in retreat mode and then he looked like he didn't really want no, he didn't want to get caught again. But this is boxing. You're going to get caught again. And that's what I haven't seen from Keith. The fact that he knows he's going to get caught. And this is how I get out of shit if I do get caught, you know. Like he said before, he's not scared to lose his own. But at the same sense, Keith, you were sitting up there with Khan. 
before the Devin Alexander fight was even mentioned, you were up there and you know you were. That's weird. And you didn't want to take the initiative to ask him right there on live television. You guys are face to face to ask him, yo, you know the world waiting for us to get it on. We next? Are we next? I don't care what anybody else says. Are we next? But no, that nigga got up there and he looked around as if, all right, am I going to get the same amount of questions that Khan's going to get? He looked like he was his little brother, man. Khan looked, man, comfortable. See, that's what I'm saying. Thurman talks a lot on camera. But when he's around other boxers, he doesn't talk all that crazy. He might talk it to a Pauli Malnagy, you know. He ain't saying that shit to nobody, nobody else. He ain't threatening to even go up to 154 to talk that shit. He ain't. Even though you fought at 154, you know? You ain't hollering none of that hot shit at 154. Because if it, I don't know if them dudes are going to fold you or what. You tell me, man. I don't give a fuck. But anyway, let's get to the end of this. Because I wasted too much time on this easy-ass prediction. I got Thurman by KO. Um, I'm going to say I'm going to say the 8th round. Thurman by 8th round knockout. I don't think he'll go to decision because I don't think that he can stay in there long enough with Thurman and stay on a, what, how old is Thurman? I'm two years older than him. Stay on a 25-year-old streak, you know, it's not, it's not happening. So, Bundu, it's been real, you know, you got your claim to fame for fighting this fight. If you were to pull the upset of the year, it would be the upset of the year if you beat Keith Thurman. It would be, man. Um, your name will go straight to the top to to face everybody that we want Keith Thurman to face. You would be in line for a Bradley, be in line for a uh, Khan, be in line for a Kell Brook. Even right now, you know, I think um, I think Kell Brook, I think Keith should have at least called out Kell Brook. Like, I'm waiting for Kell Brook to get healthy and I'm going to bust his ass. I think that would have been more productive than... Shooting for something that you might not get. Get something that's out there, you know. He called you out. He said, I'm ready to take on the Keith Thurmans of the world. He called you out. There's no reason why you guys couldn't have made it happen or it couldn't have happened first thing in March. I would have waited till March for you to come back, you know. You're going to come back here, dominate, and then people are going to jump through the roof again. Acting like you're more than what you are. I don't care how good your offense is. I don't. It's all about if you can take a shot. And as much as I love... No, Floyd has got caught before the Mosley fight. Floyd's got caught a couple times before the Mosley fight. And I realized that Floyd could take a shot. That's why I put on my eggs in one basket. It wasn't like, well, okay, he can dish out a lot, but can he receive? Floyd is a total package. I don't know. I don't know about... Thurman yet though. He he might be. But as it stands right now, this motherfucker is um second he's he's if you had to put it in order, it would probably go Floyd Pacquiao and um Bradley or a tie. <laughs> they both got one one on their record. They fought each other, one 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 the other. And then it would probably go down to uh, Kell Brook, then a Khan, Alexander, then probably Thurman, if I had to put it in order. In the meantime, you could have got um, you could have got um, Sean Porter to get back in the ring around this time. There's no reason why he didn't get shot in the leg. He didn't get stabbed. You know that still would have been a great fight for you to take on. You know. But we'll see what happens. I think this is an easy fight. Keith Thurman, eighth round knockout. I think Bundu's going to be tired overnight. Bundu wants to win. He's going to have to bulldoze motherfucking Thurman. Other than that. Man, this one's in the bank. Have fun with it, y'all.